You have optimized graphics, closed background apps, but your FPS is still low. The real fix is buried deep inside your registry. In this video, I'll show you five secret tweaks that force Windows to give your games max performance. Let's unlock full power right now. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Go to your Windows search bar and type Registry Editor. Right click on it and choose Run as Administrator to launch it with elevated permissions. This step is essential to apply all the tweaks without any restriction. Once you're here, expand the HKey Local Machine folder. From there, go to System, then Current Control Set, and next click on Control. Inside that, find the folder named Priority Control. In the right panel, locate the entry named Win32 Priority Separation, double-click it, and change the value to 26. This tells Windows to prioritize game processes higher, translating into lower latency and more stable gameplay modifying the Win32 priority separation key. He in the registry gives you consistent, long-term control. By increasing the CPU priority for foreground tasks, specifically your game, Windows dedicates more CPU cycles to running it, rather than dividing resources between background services and system operations. This shift results in reduced input lag, better responsiveness, and noticeably improved frame rates, especially in CPU-intensive titles. If you're often multitasking or running background apps while gaming, this tweak will keep your gameplay silky smooth by preventing non-essential processes from interrupting your system's real-time performance. Next, we'll apply a registry tweak that reduces the number of maximum pre-rendered frames. To apply this, go to H key local machine, then expand software and scroll down to find Microsoft. From there, open Direct3D and inside it, locate or create a new DWORD value named max pre-rendered frames. Double click on it and set the value to one. This change forces Windows and your GPU to keep buffering to a minimum, giving you crisp, lag-free control in any game. This directly improves your system's responsiveness by cutting down input lag. By default, Windows and your GPU driver might pre-render multiple frames ahead to smooth out performance, but this buffering creates a delay between your input and what you see on screen. For fast-paced shooters, or any game where precision is key, this delay can ruin the experience. Lowering the number of pre-rendered frames allows your system to render frames in real time, ensuring each movement or action you take is reflected instantly in-game. This tweak is ideal for gamers using high refresh rate displays or those with powerful CPUs where extra buffering isn't needed and might even hinder performance. Moving on to another impactful tweak, let's unlock full CPU power by adjusting how much of it Windows reserves for background tasks. To find this setting, open HKEY on local machine, then expand software, followed by Microsoft, then Windows NT, and then go into current version. From there, click on Multimedia and open the System Profile folder. In the right panel, find the value name System Responsiveness, double-click it, switch the base to decimal, and change the value to 10. This tells Windows to reserve only 10% for background processes, dedicating the remaining power directly to your games. By default, Windows holds back around 20% of your CPU to handle services like updates, indexing, and system management. While useful during normal use, this reserve becomes a bottleneck during gaming, especially in performance-heavy scenarios. By reducing the CPU reservation, you allow more of your processor's power to focus entirely on the game, which can result in smoother performance, less stuttering, and increased frame rates. This change is particularly beneficial for low to mid-range CPUs, where every bit of processing power counts. Whether you're playing a big open world title or something competitive online, freeing up CPU resources helps your system deliver uninterrupted performance. Now let's apply a tweak that disables CPU core parking, which Windows uses to save energy by deactivating certain CPU cores during light loads. To do this, head to H key local machine, then open system, followed by current control set, and then go to control. From there, navigate to power, then open power settings, and look for the folder labeled start with 5453. Inside it, click on this folder, and then click on the folder that starts with 0cc. On the right side, double click the entry called attributes, and change its value to zero. Once done, your CPU will remain fully unparked, 
delivering maximum processing potential for your games. By disabling core parking, you force all CPU cores to remain active and ready to handle any processing load, maximizing your CPU's availability and improving game performance. This is especially useful in games that are CPU bound or rely on multi-threading. Whether you're using a quad-core or high-core count processor, keeping all cores ready ensures faster frame rendering, smoother gameplay, and reduced micro stuttering. Finally, we'll wrap up with a robust registry tweak that boosts system performance by adjusting process scheduling priorities specifically for games. To apply this tweak, open H key local machine, go to software, then Microsoft, followed by Windows NT. Next, head into current version, then open the multimedia folder, and finally click on system profile, then on tasks, and inside that, select the games folder. In the right panel, make the following changes. Affinity, double click it, change the value to F, select hexadecimal and click OK. Background only, set the value to false and confirm with OK. GPU priority, adjust the value to E, switch to hexadecimal and press OK. Priority, modify the value to six and confirm with OK. Scheduling category, change the setting to high. SFIO, priority, Set it to high and click OK. This is done by modifying several registry values to make Windows allocate more GPU and CPU time to your game instead of balancing resources equally across all running processes. In its default state, Windows tries to keep everything running smoothly, but this results in background tasks competing with your game for hardware access. By tweaking entries like GPU priority, scheduling category, and SFIO priority, we tell Windows to elevate your game's execution priority. The result? A more stable frame rate, fewer performance interruptions, and much smoother gameplay, especially on low to mid-range systems that struggle with background activity during gaming sessions. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Your system becomes a gaming-focused machine, delivering smoother frames and significantly improved responsiveness across the board. Subscribe for more FPS boosts. Your system will thank you. Peace out.